Yes, yeah, so that's welcome back to another video on the channel. So we're going to go through really good, really simple, easy trading uh, methods that you can use just to maximize your coins, right? Just to boost some coins up for team of the season. Make sure you stick around, watch the video, um, and yeah, let's go on to it. So the first one's going to be Reese James. Now, these players that I'm going with are really easy to pick up. When they're low rated, they get packed a lot. They're easy to come on the market. So that's where you make your coins. So Reese James is at 1.7. Let's say he's at 1.8. It looks like he's going to be 1.8. We're going to send for 1.7 just so he instantly sells and we're not stuck with him on the market for 10 minutes. All you want to be doing is obviously sniping him for like 1.5. And the, obviously the plan is to get him for a little bit cheaper, right? Now, I've gone ahead and done this just before this. And I picked up, I think, I picked up two that I've, I'm actually selling at the moment. I think one sold. Uh, and then we've picked up three here, right? And as you can see, for 1.2. Two, so all we do is put him up for 7. Happy days. Next one up for 1.7. And so on. And all you want to do is just go ahead, pick up these cards. Now you can compare his price. Go and have a look where he is. So like one five there. One six. I mean one five is like where you want to be at. You don't want to be going any higher than one five because obviously tax comes into it, then it's not worth it. You want to be getting him for like one four to one three. Obviously the more you pick up, the more you make. So we'll go with seven. And put him up. Uh, he's actually quite good to do. As you can see, I think they are selling straight off. Have a look. I don't like these menus, man. Right. As you can see, we sell one for one nine, happy days one seven, and then we've got these up for one seven, and they're just gonna sell off within no time. So the market isn't that busy on PlayStation either. So let's have a look at one seven. Let's go back and have a look at one eight. Yeah, so it looks like one seven is gonna be where you're at. So I'd probably snipe at one five. Obviously, anything lower than that is gonna be better. Well, the next player is going to be Inaki Williams. Um, now, I think it's because of the um, that the it looks like a it's the Portuguese player. I forgot what his name is uh, from La Liga. And this is why this card's expensive because I think a lot of people are going out buying this card just to do that on. So he's like four K. So I'm I'm guessing like three nine, right? It probably looks like he's going to be selling for three nine, three nine, three nine. Sometimes that changes if you don't do this. Yeah, there you go. So they've sold at 3.9. Obviously, the goal is to get them for like 3.5. If you can sell them for 3.5, happy days. He does pop up a lot. Um, I was doing him last night. He was a bit more expensive last night, but go and have a look if we can get one. If not, so I don't get kid off the market. Gonna, gonna have a look if we can see one on the market here. I mean, we can go ahead and bid on that, right? But it's got like nearly three minutes on it. That's not going to be the best for us. We'll try and snipe one. If not, let's do the world. Three, six, eight, three, nine, 4K. You could probably send for 4K. I don't think you'd have a problem sending with 4K. But three, nine seems to be going straight away. That's the second player. Unfortunately, I can't get any at the moment. I think that's just because of my Xbox and the time I'm doing this isn't the best. As you can see, there's like 1.2 mil on the market. Not the greatest. Okay, so this this method's going to be quite good as well. You've got England, gold rare, left backs, and then you, I think they sell for 1.4 straight away. They're up for 1.5, but they don't sell. The 1.2 there, as you can see, we bought him straight away. And all we're going to do is put him up for 1.4 and then just wait for him to sell. That's all you kind of want to do. Obviously, the goal is when you're sniping him for like one two is obviously for him to come up a little bit cheaper. So, like if we go and have a look at one five, yeah, as you can see, there's like a couple of pages of him, so it's not the best. And obviously, you can get a Luke Shaw on that in these. It's not just always going to be the same card. Obviously, they do pop up. So all you want to be doing is just go about one two because it make it a little bit worth it. Um, one two is okay, but I'll be looking for like. I've been kicked off, but I'll be looking at for like one, one, one thousand coins. That's kind of where you're going to be making the most profit. I'll bring you back. Okay, after doing the capture and everything like that, we're on to the next one. So the next one's going to be, as you can see, Nathan Ake. About 3,800. I think there's one up for three. That's going to be a good one just because he's a UCL card. So if you send him for 3,800, you're going to get back 3,610 coins, right? Which... <coughs> Obviously, that's going to be profit either way, even if he is like, we picked up this one here. Let's go and have a look how much he's actually worth. So, rare, I mean, if he's like 3.9, 4k. 
Okay, so he's probably about 3.9, so it's not the best profit. UCLs are just a little bit more at the moment just because of the icon swaps. But we'll make 105 coins off that card, but all you want to be doing is selling this card for 3,800, which you're going to get him for 3,000, you get 3,610 back. As you can see, there's an up to 3.8, so I think 3.9 is his lowest. Yeah. The 3.8. All you want to be doing is trying to get one for about three, four, just to make it a little bit worth it. Now, when the market's busy, it'll be a really good method for you to use. Uh, and so let me keep saying that, I'm just going to say, I might not be able to get some of these players at the moment just because the market isn't that busy. So, like, three, five, I'm going to go ahead and bid on that one. And then we're going to go across three, five again. I know it is a bit ridiculous, 100 coins a card, but as you can see, if we're picking up, like, let's say we pick up five straight away, it's going to be 500 coins. Uh, so it's not so bad. So we've got. I'm going to bid 3 4. Just so we can make like 200 coins a card. And see if we get outbidded on them. Okay, so as you can see, the ones we did pick up. This ain't going to be the best profit, uh, this one here, but it was worth the gamble. I mean, we still didn't try much in the United game as I'm doing this. So. All we're going to do is go with 3 8 as well. Okay, the next one's going to be it's actually Gold Team of the Week. want to go Premier League. Now, the cheapest they go for, I believe it's like 15k, uh, 14750, then I think it is. Which none go, yeah, so, for, so that's what you can sell them for. So 14750, um, sorry, wrong, 14750. Tax on that's going to be 14k. So anything under 14k is going to be profit. Whether you're getting this card for 13750 or less is going to be just pure profit. All you want to be doing is someone like you want to go to me and just check his price, go across. He's the one that's going to be up there all the time, just because I think he's in Team of the Week at the moment. He's getting packed majority of the time, and all you want to do is go across to his lowest bids. So like here, 12k. Um, I'm going to go to have a look and see if we've got that one. So we've got two more Akes, which is good. Um, and then we've looks like we're going to get this one. So let me put these Akes up, and it looks like we're going to get that one. 3.8 for an AK, which is not bad. And we did get me for that. I'm going to go ahead and put them up now. Now, 14.750 is what we're looking for. So this is going to be, be 750 coins profit. 763 coins profit, actually. But yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be a nice amount of profit. And with me as well, he just... um always he's always getting listed right so they're always getting listed quite easy to pick up not so not too shabby that is and then we might get this one for 12k i can't see it yeah there you go right always the way but then again i'm gonna go ahead and search for him see if we can see one while well, whilst we're waiting for that one there's one for 11 there again well so i'll do that i'm just gonna bid 13 and put them off 13250 Obviously, we need him for anything under 14 to make profit. But even that's going to be just over 250 coins profit. I'm going to bid 13 on that one. If we can get this, this will be all right. So we didn't get him for 14, so we can move on. Whether you're bidding on this card or you're just sniping him, it's actually quite good to do. So 15k there. Have a look. Let's go to... So this is where I'd sit at, right? Just at thirteen seven fifty. As you can see, pops up. It's gonna be two hundred, just over two hundred fifty coins profit. It's not the best. But it's still profit. I'm just gonna go ahead and put them up for fourteen seven fifty. Go to thirteen five. I mean, they're gonna pop up for thirteen seven fifty more, but let's just see if we can pick up another one. If not, no worries. Okay, so that's going to be it for the end of the video. Let's just go through and have a look at actually everyone that has sold. So the, obviously the two uh, informed sold straight away, chill well and that. These are all really good methods. When the market's busy, you'll have much more success than this and you'll probably pick up a lot more cards. But we just need these cards to sell. Now these have been up for a little bit now. I've actually waited around for like 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes to try and get these cards to sell. 
Um, they are the cheapest ones up. They're just not selling at this time at the moment. And then I was just I I picked up two more Akes just when I was searching this price because they popped up for like three two. So I just picked them up. Um, and as you can see, we are, I think we started on like ninety four. So we probably made about eight to nine k profit and just these cards. And honestly, they're not. It's not even hard to pick these cards up. So we probably made like ten k in like half an hour just because. I mean, this says we've been on it for like twenty minutes. We actually haven't. We've been just sat around. I've been doing the thumbnail and that for the last like ten minutes. So yeah, it's only been about ten fifteen minutes, I think. Um, so once they've so we've actually made all right profit. It, this is just me explaining and showing you these kind of filters. So if this did help out in any ways, if you want any kind of new filters or any new methods, let me know down below in the comments below. But uh, that's gonna be it for the video. Until then, peace.